Welcome back. My name is Stanley Bentu, and joining me to talk about her book, Love Does Not Win Election, I have the author Aisha Osori. Hi, Aisha. Hi, Stanley. Glad you could join me to talk about this. I read this book and I found it very fascinating, very interesting. In fact, I would describe it as a 101 for anyone who chooses to go into politics. It's exactly. Kind of like you read my you mind. <laughs> well, it's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for inviting me. But what I was thinking about as I was reading the book is you're someone who were born from the academic environment mm -hmm. and can be described as apolitical in many ways. I would have thought so, yes. <laughs> what made you join the murky waters of politics? Um, I think just the, I would say enlightened self-interest. That's the only way to sum it up. I sort describe of, that. Well, I sort of realized that um, even if I, what I'd been told growing up is work hard, um, you know, study hard, work hard, get a good job, you know, live a good life and you will get your just rewards. But I realized that in Nigeria, um, you can do all that, but you still not be okay because the government is plays such a large and determining role in our lives that you can work hard, build a good life for yourself, but the inefficiencies of government will still intrude on your happiness. And so that knowledge made me realize that, well, I should do something more than just write about it. So I've been writing articles for a long time. So my journey into politics was sort of very slow. I started writing articles about the state of Nigeria, just social issues, legal issues, political issues in 2008. Um, and so then I moved from the private sector to the public sector, again thinking, okay, let me leave the comfort of the corporate world and the fat paychecks and you know, put my money where my mouth is. I've been writing about how hard can it be? So, you know, so I joined a non-profit organization called the Nigerian Women's Trust Fund, which was set up specifically to see how we can get more women into government policy decision making, you know, have a seat at the table so that some of the policies that are being designed that affect millions of women and Nigerians and their children um, will be more balanced and fair. Mm -hmm.